Hi everyone, it's Nicole and Mark, and uh, we're going to sh quickly show you how to create your Zoom meetings for your classes uh, so that your students have to register beforehand. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to my account and I could schedule a meeting here or I could do quick meetings and then schedule a meeting here. So this is going to be called my meeting with Mark. Uh, I'm going to make it for noon today. Uh, you can change the duration. All of this can be adjusted. I'm going to make it a recurring meeting because I'm going to see my class over and over again. And I'm going to just, again, you can adjust this to how you see fit. I'm going to just make it after seven occurrences. And, and Nicole, then I'm going to remember, um, we can't actually make this a no fixed time meeting. That's right. Okay. So this drop down, if you were used to doing the no fixed time, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do that any longer if you want your students to register for your meetings. So in order for them to register, it has to be, there has to be a time and a start date. Uh, so you'll see here, if I click no fixed time, the registration option goes away. So I'm going to click daily. Now, this is important. Do you want to click registration required? And you have some options here. If you want your attendees to register for each and every occurrence, you could do that. I'm actually going to keep it at they register once and then they can attend all the occurrences in the future. So scroll down, adjust if you need to, and then hit save. But we're not done yet. So you want to scroll down after saving and take a look. You have registration down here. We are going to edit and you want to manually approve the people who are registering for your, me your meeting. So basically what's going to happen is that the, the students will register and then you'll get a list. We'll show you in a moment of all the registrants and you will one by one make sure they match your roster and then you'll be able to allow them into the meeting. You also want to take off the, the ability for them to join on multiple devices and share the social media. So I'm going to join on multiple all. devices is really cool. It's going to help with the security because they won't be able to use two different devices at the same time. So the idea there is that they share it with a friend or something like that, but they also need to be in the meeting. So it would kick one of them out. That's right. So now you're ready to go. You're ready to share the link. So I'm going to copy this link. And I'm going to go to Google Classroom and I'm going to share this out. Here is our Zoom link. And then I'm going to add the link. And you could put some information here explaining to the students that from now on you're going to have to register. Make sure you're using your first and last name that's on the roster. And also the email has to be their student email, their uh, SB students email. And you'll, you could just explain to them if it's not that email, they're not going to be allowed into the meeting. So I'm going to post this. And now Mark is going to show you what it looks like on his end. And I will open up the classroom. I'm a student in the class. I click on the link and all my information automatically gets filled in here. I click on register and I've registered, registered for the class. So once he registered for that meeting, I'm going to refresh my screen. And I'm going to scroll down and you're going to see that somebody has registered for your meeting. So I'm going to click edit and I'm going to find whoever registered for my meeting. And I'm going to comp compare this to my roster. And I'm going to say, oh, okay, Mark Lifland is on my roster and here's his email that matches. This is good. So I'm going to check him and I'm going to hit approve. Now, the great thing is he would get that email that he just showed you. So that's the, e that's the confirmation email that he would get as a student. So this is what the email will look like in the end. Um, and I can actually click on this link and save it. I would say to the student, you should bookmark the link afterwards. And this is going to be the way that we set up the meeting is it's the link every single time. This link is tied to me individually. 